here are some mealy bugs on my cilantro. I mean, if you look at this, it kind of just looks like there's a bunch of little white fluffy stuff, right? But if you look closer, you can actually see that they will move and that they do have legs. So um, you can see my fingers, and excuse me, they're dirty and in need of a manicure. Um, but you see how big my fingers look and how just how tiny these little bugs are. They're so itty itty bitty. Um, when you probably see this white fuzzy stuff on your plants, you're probably thinking, oh wow, what's this white fuzzy stuff? Not thinking that it's actually living life forms. Now, mealy bugs don't always look this fluffy. Um, their fluff is actually a waxy kind of coating that helps them retain moisture and especially during the heat. So the hotter it gets, the more fuzzy they'll probably look to you. Um, but it, it, they do shed it a little bit, so they leave it, you know, on the plants and stuff. So these guys are not friends of our garden, unfortunately. I mean, they are kind of cute, but they're not friends. They're not bugs you want on your plants. So unless you have a really bad infestation of mealy bugs, you don't have to worry too much. They do suck on the sap of the plant, so they eventually can cause leaves to become yellow, discolored, and they will eventually drop off. But overall, they're not as dangerous or as um, destructive as some of the other pests you'll find in your garden. Now, to get rid of them, there's some very easy solutions. Number one, you can pick them off and squish them. <laughs> um, that's that's one thing you can do. Um, you'll still see their fluff on the stem and you could just wash that away. But you can just wash away the mealybugs bugs themselves as well. They can easily be dislodged with a steady stream of water. Um, you can repeat if necessary, um, you know, for light infestations, like you just spot one or two spots on your plants. Another thing you can do is use insecticidal soap. They are available on the market and you can make your own just by using disc detergent. Um, my favorite is Dawn. Um, you know, try to find a product that's free of perfumes and additives because you don't want to include anything in there that could harm the plant. And you'd be surprised how many secret ingredients can be in your dish soap. So just read the, read the label first. You can mix that soap into a weak concentration with some water, starting at about one teaspoon per gallon um, and increase as necessary. Simply spray it on the plant and, and be, you're good. Another thing you can use is neem oil. A lot of people love neem oil and this is also great um, for mealybugs. And you can also use kitchen insect spray. Just remember if you're putting this on anything that you will potentially be eating down the road, just you might want to rethink that. So, so as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about mealybugs and seeing them up close and personal. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and thank you. Thank you so much for being here.